Hey everybody, Goddess of Chaos here. How you doing tonight? Hope you're doing really well. I'm in a very good mood. Just had some really good dinner my husband cooked up for me. And anyways, all is right in the world of chaos. Anyways, yesterday I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw this video. Again, it's about tipping. So I believe it was an Instacart driver and he shows up at this young lady's house with her groceries but she didn't put a tip on the order. So stay tuned and see the chaos that ensues. Don't you pick your deliveries? I don't know how Instacart works. Don't egg him on. Don't. No, 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 no. Not okay. I get it, you want a tip, but that's not okay to, to threaten violence. No, absolutely not. I bet you if she were a guy, he wouldn't be talking to her like that. And calling her Swifty or anything like that. So guys, what do you think? I think you might agree with me. I think they were both the a-hole. First, she for not tipping, even just a few bucks. And I was on his side until he started to threaten violence. But let's see what the comments have to say. Okay, so here's some of the comments, guys. That's just it. Tips are discretionary. If he acts angry and violent, I wouldn't tip and call the company and complain. He threatened her. Totally out of line. I completely agree. I would have done the same thing. Let's see what else they have to say. We need to talk about how the man, the boyfriend, is standing behind the woman while she argues with a man who's clearly angry. I'm recording everything is his response to that driver stepping forward, talking about slapping her. That's crazy. Also, she's terrible if she never tips. Yes, she is terrible if she never tips. Um, and yes, I did notice that the boyfriend was possibly standing behind the woman as an angry man was approaching her. Well, in my experience, this mannerless Gen Z has ability to make anyone outraged and annoyed with just the voice tone. I mean, I don't disagree there. I also noticed how she was standing there with her nails looking like this. She was doing some things to the guy to anger him on purpose. So I'll give them that, but it's still no reason to, to threaten violence. I can only imagine what things are going on in this guy's life to have so much hatred, anger, and stress pouring out of them. True, especially if he has to take a job like uh, Instacart. That's probably, that's probably like a second income for him. So he's probably very stressed out. He obviously is. I don't know what to say. 
another commenter says, when you choose to work in an industry making you dependent on tips, you must understand that tipping is optional. That's true. This man is clearly unhinged and probably needs to seek work in an industry that doesn't require him to deal with the public. Everyone expects a tip these days. This is why I always go to the store myself. Yeah, he's obviously very stressed out and a little bit unhinged. This is probably more like a, a second income for him because of whatever's going on in his life. But he, I think he needs, I think he needs some uh, some therapy. This is why I think that mental health and taking care of your mental health is is very important. Otherwise, you end up like this guy. The commenter states, surely if the groceries are paid for and he has now delivered them to the customer. They belong to the customer. If he takes them away with the intention of permanently depriving the customer of them, then that is theft. Report him and get him nicked. Manners and kindness work in both ways. He should realize that tipping is not mandatory. That is true. Um, however, I think that if the driver takes the groceries back, yeah, it, it could be kind of seen as theft. However, she could just contact the app and they would do something to refund her. Only because I've had something like that done, I, not, through, not through Instacart, but through DoorDash, where someone said they had delivered my food and they did not. They drove right past my house and ignored my messages and everything. Said it was delivered and it wasn't. So... I uh, sent in a complaint and, um, you know, they, they refunded me. And so I'm assuming something like that would happen. Next comment. There were more comments, but this is going to be the last one. I will try to find the video again and link it if you wanted to see the whole thing and uh, see some of the comments. But it seems that there were, there were some on his side, there were some on her side. I'm kind of on both and neither side, but last comment. Tipping is at the discretion of the person receiving the service, and personally, I do hope he lost his job. I I do too. You never threaten violence to a customer. Trust me, there are times I've wanted to, me working in retail. Um, I've had to bite my lip a few times, but... It's frowned upon to smack a Karen, unfortunately. His actions were immensely out of order and very intimidating. Let's just hope he was having a very bad day and that the customer had the misfortune to suffer for it. So, yeah. I'm going to link the video and let me know what you think. Drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by. Um, otherwise... See you guys later, and hope to post some new videos this week. Go out into the world and cause a little bit of chaos. Bye, guys.